There are 11 types of plugins that come with Joomla out of the box. Authentication, Capture Content Editors, Editor XTD, Extension, Finder, Search System, Two-Factor Authentication, and User Plugins. That sounds like a lot, and if you're new to Joomla, that can get a little confusing. So let me just remind you of one thing. Plugins are like spark plugs. How often do you actually worry about the spark plugs in your car? Hardly ever. You get them taken care of when you go in and get some regular maintenance done. Well, essentially, that's what plugins are like in Joomla. You install them, you set them up once, and pretty much never worry about them again until they need to be updated, and Joomla will tell you. So don't worry that this is kind of confusing. Let me go through and show you some of the plugins that come with Joomla. Go ahead and click on Extensions and Plugins, and here are for instance, the four authentication plugins that are built in. There's a Joomla authentication, and we just use that when you logged into your site. There's a cookie authentication, a Gmail authentication if you want people to log in with their Google accounts, and even an LDAP extension that allows you to connect to an LDAP server. So those are the authentication ones. Under Captcha, there's only one, and that's reCAPTCHA. If you wanted a different CAPTCHA service, well, you can install it and I'll talk about that in an upcoming video. Load Modules is a fantastic little plugin that allows you to actually load a module into an article, and there's code that does that. If I click on Load Modules, you'll see here that within content, this plugin loads module positions. So for instance, curly bracket, load position, the name of the position, and a closing curly bracket, or by the name of the module, Load Module, and then the machine name for that module. This is a fantastic plugin. I use it all the time. There are a bunch of content plugins here. Joomla, Smart Search, Contact, Email Cloaking. I mentioned that one earlier. So when you publish your email address on the site, it gets cloaked by Joomla. Turn that off and your email will be in plain text. Page break, page navigation, even voting on content which we ignored. Most people don't do that anymore, but if you've got the kind of site where you want that, well, Joomla has it built in. There are editor plugins. Each editor you have on your site has its own plugin, and then all of the little buttons in your editor have their own plugins as well. I go to page two, smart search, search, system plugins, and you should be careful when you think about turning any of these off, make sure you're choosing wisely here. Page 3, more system plugins, and some that have been turned off like page caching. Page caching is really great. Anytime you can cache the content of your site, it's going to speed up your site, but there are some issues there. So you'll want to read the documentation before you implement that. If you want to use two-factor authentication with the Google Authenticator on your site, you'd need to turn one of those on. And then finally, a few user plugins. So again, plugins are like spark plugs. I want to demonstrate that content plugin called Load Modules just so you can see how it works. In your module manager, go ahead and find your Welcome to Joomlaville module that we created earlier. It's a custom module. Go ahead and click that and change position seven. Just go ahead and type in a position that doesn't exist, like Welcome. Now what this means is the Welcome to Joomlaville module will never show up anywhere on our site because we have no position called welcome. Hit enter and click save and close. All right, head back over to your articles, click on welcome to Joomlaville, and down at the bottom, go ahead and type the following. Curly bracket, which is at the top right hand side of your keyboard, load position, welcome. And of course, make sure you fix the autocorrect that some of your computers will automatically do. So load position, one word, all lowercase, and then the position that you just created, again, which should be all lowercase, and then closed out by a right-hand curly bracket. Click Save and Close. Go back over to your home page. Your Welcome to Joomlaville module has disappeared from here, but it is right now inside your article. So, amazing flexibility with modules. All because of the Load Modules content plugin that allows you to do that. So, like spark plugs. They do little things in the background that just make your site awesome.